Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to Bloodborne. Last time, we found Ariana at Odin Tomb with a little brain sluggy thing um, slithering around outside of her, and when we killed it, she died, which is crazy. Um, then we entered or returned to the Nightmare of Mensis, um, got up to the top, and saw that the Shadow of Yarnum is now a regular enemy, and we killed the Mergo. Well, we killed Murgo's wet nurse. And then shortly after that, Murgo, who we can't see here, stopped crying. That's the baby that was crying. And it said Nightmare Slain. So, yeah. So first, before we go anywhere, um, it's sort of suspected that Murgo was a baby old one, which is sort of obvious, but that he was, in fact, the child of... Odin, um, who is a formless old one, and since you can't see Murgo's body, blah de blah, blah, blah So before we head back to the Hunter's Dream, we're going to go check something out over here. Do-do-do, do-do-do. So if you recall, last time we saw... Yarn I'm out here. And now, as we get closer, she fades away. Ooh. Um, so if you'd killed her, or if you'd not killed her, if you'd attacked her before, her spirit like that would have faded away. She wouldn't have attacked you or anything like that. I really need to kill something. How am I gonna do that? I need to visceral attack something. Okay, so um, again, before we go back, there's another thing I want to show, which is very cool. I actually didn't know it existed until um, like yesterday. So yeah, it has to do with that giant thing that fell when we pulled the lever after getting the choir bell, or just before getting the choir bell, I guess. There. Uh, that thing, by the way, was the... What do you call it? The, um... Sort of giant frenzy beast that was giving us frenzy when we were walking around over here. So you can walk around over here fine now, I believe. Ooh, we can kill this thing. This will attack you. Return my health to me. There you go. Alright, alien. So we want to come back here, because something has changed in the second room? Well, in the... yeah, second... second, I think? Uh, yeah. So you can run... so again, run past all these guys. They won't start attacking you, I found out, unless you pull out fire? Or unless you kill one of these matron thingies, which we don't necessarily want to do at this point. I don't really feel strongly about killing it. <laughs> what? Ha ha. And down we go. And what is this? Ooh, whoa, that, okay. <laughs> so this is what players have affectionately started calling the mother brain. Um, what does that say? Time for contact, okay. Let's see. Do I have contact on? Yes. And nothing is happening. Do I have to do it, like, here? Let's just turn that off. Let's try it again. No. Okay. Well, in any sense, we want to kill it. And it has tons of health. And it won't attack. It's... It's all... <laughs> it's now nice, so... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. 
It's so... I don't know, there's something... It's so weird killing this thing because... I mean, yeah, it's sort of tormented us in the past, but... You know, when it fell down, it looked like it was a t it was being held up, sort of like like it was a prisoner. And yeah. Um, also, there was the... Oh, I have to read that umbilical cord still, I forgot about that. But... Um, one of the things that the umbilical cord does, and that Master Willem was attempting to do, was put eyes inside our heads, and apparently this guy has, well, other than eyes going outside, um, most likely has eyes inside of its head as well. Also, you don't have to do this. This is something, I'm doing this because I think it's cool, but this thing, um, gives you an item that isn't useful to you unless you're doing chalice dungeons. So, let's actually check out those two things that I didn't read. Living string and, ooh, a medical cord would be here, wouldn't it? Which one are you? I think this one. Um, blah, 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 blah. This one. A great relic known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Mensis, Mensis audience with Murgo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Used to gain insight, and, in so they say, eyes on the inside. Although no one remembers what that truly entails. Use eyes on the frickin' inside. Um, okay, so I'm not going to go back up because there's going to be enemies there. Instead, I'm going to take a thing. Use a bold hunter's mark. Also, before we go forward, I want to note that this episode is sort of going to be a little disjointed. I'm going to be going around picking up stuff and doing things that I either forgot to do earlier or and didn't or didn't know about or just didn't have the time to show before. Um, so yeah, I think it's time to return to the Hunter's Dream. What? It's on fire! What is going on? Let's see if the doll has anything to say. Good Hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Huh. Very well. Let me. Let's do this very quick. Let's give vitality. No. No. Yeah, vitality. Okay. So, like I said, we're not going to go off and do that just yet. But you'll notice that this gate over it's been locked over here for the duration of the game is now open. So yeah, also I didn't get to show it because so every so often Gammon will randomly appear um, back over here and he'll say something, he'll be like, oh Lawrence, oh Willem, wake me up, I no longer want to be in this dream. Or something of that, to that degree. Um, and it's really quite sad. But oh, yeah. Um, but so we we find out that he's being tormented by this. Ooh, I should do that. So one of the things um, they recently updated the game, and one of the things they changed was you can now hold up to six hundred. Blood vials and quicksilver bullets. Um, with that, I'm gonna start going around and showing showing other stuff that I missed. First, I'm gonna go to a different save file, and I'm gonna show you Yosefka and what she looks like if you didn't kill her then, but killed her or went to her after you fought Mikolash. So, see you in a minute. All right, so here we are back at Yosefka's clinic, and as I said before. Um, if you come here after fighting Mikolash, instead of while you're going through the Forbidden Woods normally, you will get something different. And here we are, and as you'll notice, when we walk through that door, she didn't start telling us to go and walk away. Instead, you come up here, and she is now crouched over on an operation table.
God, I'm nauseous. Have you felt this? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I... Oh, God, it feels awful. But it proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see how they writhe? Writhe inside my head. It's rather rapturous. <laughs> All right. So I think I should do what I did with what's her face, Ariana, and put this woman out of her misery. Wow, that was a little that was a little rough. One third of umbilical cord. So, as we can see, she, like Yarnum and like um, Ariana, was made pregnant by the dude. Let's see what this one said. Uh, this one. Also known as the Cord of the Eye, uh, Provost William, uh, Provost Willem sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of the Great One by lining his brain with eyes. With only choice, he knew if men were ever to match their greatness. Wait. The only choice he knew if men were... Okay. In his mind, the only way to... <laughs> in his mind, the only way to evolve was to do it with more eyes. Alright. So, back to other playthrough. Alright. Now we're back at the Cathedral Ward. Um, what we're going to do here... We are going to show you something new instead of going and doing other stuff right away. We're going to come over here. Ha 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 ha. So we could have come here before. I guess this is something I missed, sort of. I like doing it at the end. Uh, I did it on the end of my first playthrough. But I did, it, I did this on the end because it's... I think it's really cool to see this now. And it makes... I feel like it makes the story... I don't know, somehow stronger and, and more... Um, whoa, almost got shot there. More... More like there was something you weren't told from the beginning, I guess. I hope I have enough health to do this. You're going to want to have a fair amount of health before you come and do this. Can I make it? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Here we are. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Abandoned old workshop. And we have received insight for that, but we're Max. So as you'll notice here, this is the spitting image of the other workshop. And your question has to be, what is it doing so far beneath all of this, hidden away from the rest of the city? And, wow, off the cliffs, too? Um, unlike the forbidden... I mean, unlike the workshop that we know, there is no gate over here with tombstones. Um, so this is, like, the original workshop. Where... The hunters got their star, and for some reason, they are now dealing in a dream world-ish sort of clothing. Doll clothes. I'll put it on. Let's put it on. Doll hat. Doll clothes. Doll gloves. And doll skirt. Let's see if they also, did they all say the same thing. Yep. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. It borderlines on, it borderlines on mania and, ex, and exudes a slight warmth. And here we are, doll form. Da -da -da -da. We look an awful bit like the doll. Whoa, that was weird. The doll from the dream. 
old papers lying and strewn about. Ooh, can we read that? We cannot read that. Let's get this checkpoint. As you can see, a doll lying over in the corner. We get another one-third umbilical cord. What do you say? Uh, da -da. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitates the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and convened the hunter's dream. So, this indicates that the... For some reason, the hunters needed to leave this place, and in order to keep going, um, someone made a deal with an old one and had the hunter's dream created. Bend an old doll. Why didn't I... Huh. What's going on? Inspect. Why am I not... What's going on? Okay, I'm supposed to be getting an item here, so I'm really confused. Really confused. Ben is confused. Okay... Why am I not... ...getting it? I don't know why I attacked it. What? Okay, I know for a fact I'm supposed to be- I'm supposed to have found an- Oh, is this it? Small hair ornament, okay. I apologize for attacking you. Would you go here? I would put you here, yeah. A very- a small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which it was- t this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against the head- against the head of grayish hair. Probably belonged to the doll, I would think. Okay, it belonged to the doll. No, no, no skirting around that one. Prophetagob! Was I- what was I wearing? Was I wearing that? And... That? Oh no, I was wearing night clothes. What am I doing? Night scarab. Okay. So, now that we're here, the only real way to go- to get out of here is to go all the way down the bottom and stuff. Which I don't want to do, so I think I'll just do a... magic-y time change and I'll be over at the Cathedral Ward. See you there. Alright. Now that we've seen... Now that we've seen the secret hiding beneath the city, locked away tightly like a thing that's been locked away very tightly, it's time to begin doing... Yeah, that's really cool. You can see the old lady through there. It's begin to do, since we're at the end of the game, what Souls players do at the end of games. And that is kill NPCs. They have no reason to live anymore, since the game's going to start over again. I just want it. <laughs> The game's going to start over New Game Plus after all this, so they have no purpose for existence. You'll notice after we kill the second one, that they will all start to... Um... No, they didn't. Why didn't they? Huh. Alright. They didn't. Yeah. Um, you notice that the... For some reason, the d dweller didn't care that we... Or they didn't... That's it. The Dweller was okay with us attacking it the first time. And that was enough to kill it. But everyone else, you need to sort of aggro to death. I think she, she usually says something when you kill her. That's weird. And you! Didn't say anything either. When you see how useless he was, everyone else gave us... I think everyone else gave us these. I wasn't really paying attention to the to the old woman, but I think they all gave us one of a rune. Oh well. So let's see. On to the next NPC. Who do we have left? We've got Patches the Spider and Master Willem. Let's go with Master Willem. I'm gonna do a quick, 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 quick run thing over to it to him. Because there's something I need to show you on the way. So, 
Cue awesome fast speed and cute footsteps. Go! And now we're back in the swamp area. So, yeah, there was an item around here, not in the swamp, but um, in this general... Ah, uh, come on, I missed it. In this general forbidden woodsy area that I forgot to pick up earlier. So, I'm going to do that. Also... Don't really... <laughs> I thought that was an enemy. Okay. Um, also, yeah, they could have come here coming you know, using the Yasefka side route. I don't really know why I didn't do that. It's significantly safer and probably a lot quicker. Oh, I remember why. Okay, so this guy here, or this woman thing, it's unkillable. Oh, died. Became a beast? Became a beast. If you came through the Forbidden Woods the first time and didn't pick up a pick up the tonsil stone from it, um, if you spoke to Gilbert, who was still alive at the time, um, I think it had to be after sunset or something like that, he would give you the tonsil stone in their stead. Yeah, in their stead. Um, also, I'm just doing this to make things safer. But you don't. I mean, you don't have to do this. Haha, <laughs> you was all dead. So if you remember correctly, if you remember correctly, if you remember, we killed the guy over here. I'm not entirely sure, but I think because I killed him, it caused those dogs to be let out later. I'm not sure. But I missed this item, which is, it's not really like a big deal, it's just blue elixir. We don't really need it. But yeah. Now, I'm going to just skip ahead to Bergenworth and Master Willem, so see you guys there. Back at Bergenworth. Blah, 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 blah. Jane to do up to the steps, up to Master Willem. Master Willem actually gives you a really cool item. That we have a thingy for. But he doesn't give it to you, I mean, you rip it from his cold, dead, once body. And we go! And we go again! Haha, <laughs> you've been killed! So sad. I. He gave us the super upgraded version of I, so we'll make even more additional discoveries. With that, I will meet you guys now at Patches in the Lecture Building. See you there. Patches, patches, patches! We've been waiting for you, man. And you've been slain! <sighs> that was uncharitably done. That was uncharitably done, dear friend. <laughs> to our credit, he did try to kill us. 
he did send Amygdala after us specifically. No, he didn't send Amygdala after us. Unless that was him talking before when Amygdala brought us into this world. In any case, he did push us off the cliff. That is important to note. Let's see, where do we go next? Um... Now I think I'm going to go to... Where do I want to go? Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Ah. <sighs> By giving her that, we got the Tear Stone. Very interesting. I think, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously it's interesting, but... Even though she's a doll, she was still able to cry. And... She wasn't entirely aware, but something in her knew... Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Um, she knew that she had at one point, from that, been a person. I guess. Maybe? Silver Shining Tear Stone. Used to turn blah blah blah. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this is precious must be troubled by severe naivete. So let's break it. We got the Tear Blood Gem, which gives us... HP Recovery plus two. Um, created by... Created from a Shining Silver... Blood Dala created from a shining silver doll tear. This blood gem is quiet but unfalter but is a quiet but unfaltering friend that continually restores HP, the life essence of a hunter. Perhaps the doll's creator had wished for such a friend, for just such a friend. I'll bet in vain. Wow, I just totally screwed up my speech right there. Okay, so with that, I think we'll be done. Next time, we will finish the game. I'm going to try to have every ending and every boss done, so I'm going to be fighting Abritus again, and then we'll be going through the gate over there. That was open now. So, yeah, I'm going to do some a little bit of grinding off screen so I can get more blood, more blood vials and quick silver bullets. Other than that, see you guys next time. Peace. So I just realized there were a couple things that I missed. First of which is here at the Grand Cathedral. Um, they're just word things um, that I glanced over. Um, the first one is right here. Heir to the ritual of blood, purveyor of administration, place your hand on the altar's sacred covering and inscribe Master Lawrence's adage upon your flesh. So it is that. I was supposed to look at that earlier. But it is that that tells us that we should touch the uh, skull up here. Next one, I think there's going to be two of them actually, are going to be at Bergenworth. So yeah. Second one is right here. The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing, for true enlightenment need not be shared. Also, I forgot this. So yeah. Hold Hunterbone. It's a new magiciness. Um, the old bone of a hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice of old Garman and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from its from his remains. So I'm going to show you very quick what it does. Actually, you've seen what it does already, so I maybe won't. Yeah, I'll show. Um, the enemy that we fought that killed Eileen. Um, he had quickening. It's sort of like a... It heightened... 
it supposedly makes us move faster, but really it just sort of... I guess it sort of does, but it... It uses bullets to use, and it lets us sort of teleport around for a bit. So that's awesome. So, now, I'm done. See you guys next time. Peace.